To understand epimers, then you need to have a super understanding of enantiomers and deastereoisomers. So what I want you to get thinking about with enantiomers is the fact that corresponding chiral centers are always opposite. So wherever you have a left foot, you're going to have a right foot, and wherever you have a right foot, you're going to have a left foot. On the other hand, with deastereoisomers, this is not so, as in not all corresponding configurations are going to be opposite. So in this example, we have a left orange foot and a right green foot, but in the other deastereoisomer, we have a left orange foot and a right green foot again, which makes them not mirror images of each other. So now it's time to talk about epimers. Well, epimers are just a special type of deastereoisomer. And what's so special about them is the fact that only one corresponding configuration is opposite and all the rest of the configurations are the same. So the way I like to think about epimers is by looking at the two molecules and saying to myself, oh, well, if that one configuration was changed, then I would have two identical molecules. So epimers are like almost having two identical molecules, but it's just one configuration is changed. So this is the bigger picture of all of the kind of slightly more longer sounding and challenging words that we've been learning over the last few videos. We have enantiomers, deastereoisomers and meso compounds. And epimers are a type of deastereoisomer and anomers are a type of epimer. And that is pretty much all I'm going to say about that because I think that once you know what an epimer is and when you see what an anomer is, then then you understand it because an anomer is a very, very, very particular type of um, epimer and it comes up in sugar biochemistry and if, if, you, if you know all that then you're pretty much ready to go when, when the time comes for you to learn it. So thank you very much for watching. Here is your, is your last quiz of stereochemistry and, uh, and thanks for watching the playlist I have made on stereochemistry.